These are exciting times for believers in Christ who are interested in Bible prophecy. Many things that are suggested by the unfulfilled future prophecy seem to be trending in our world. We reserve a few minutes Sunday morning to discuss some of those things. We're always careful to use recognized, reliable sources for our news, things that you can check. We're not saying that the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy, only that they're things you would expect if you read the Bible literally. Now in Revelation, we're told that in the future great tribulation, some kind of an image is gonna be set up by the false prophet who works with the Antichrist. It will seemingly be sentient. We're told that, and I quote, the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image to be killed. We've suggested in the past that it's artificial intelligence, that that could power the image of the beast we see in the Revelation. And that's why I was excited to run across a transcript from a podcast featuring a guy named John Lennox. Uh, he's an emeritus professor of mathematics at Oxford University and a pastoral advisor to Green Templeton College at Oxford. The podcast was titled, Does Revelation Talk About Artificial Intelligence? He's gonna mention a couple of things that we need to clarify before reading the excerpt. He's gonna talk about artificial general intelligence, or AGI. He says it's a machine capable of understanding the world as well as any human being, and with the same capacity to learn how to carry out a huge range of tasks. And then he'll mention a gentleman by the name of Max Tegmark. He's a Swedish-American physicist, cosmologist, and machine learning researcher, and a professor at MIT. So the article uh, goes like this. In Revelation 13, we read about an animal or a beast, and it's clearly talking about a world authority or a leader. And we read that it commands a construction of an image that is an image of another animal or human, and it gives breath to this. And the result is worldwide deception and control, uh, and all who refuse to bow down and acknowledge the authority of this beast human, whatever it is, are killed. So that you are dealing with this scenario for a social control that's absolute. What is intriguing and rather chilling, actually, in the light of our AI developments is that freedom to buy and sell is determined by the wearing of some kind of mark. Max Tegmark uh, talks about a bracelet that people may have to wear that will determine whether or not they're regarded as socially acceptable. And we've already got that kind of social acceptability factor in the credit system that's being rolled out in the Chinese population today. So it's relatively easy to see how this kind of thing could come about. You've got something that appears to give breath to another creature, to an image actually, which is presumably a material thing. And it's so effective that it causes the whole earth to worship it, which is a fascinating concept. Is it a partial realization of AGI? Uh, we don't know, but we do know, looking back in history, that at every stage, human beings have set up images and bowed down to worship them. And what technology will produce one day is probably beyond our wildest dreams. For that reason, I take this scenario seriously. Now, I'm not saying that the image of the beast in Revelation is AGI or AI or anything like that. It's just fascinating that uh, you can see how it could be in a way that you couldn't maybe 10 years ago. Uh, we used to talk about this image or statue and think, well, you know, what, what's going to happen? It's gonna be a hologram, it's gonna have a speaker in it, you know, that. and now it makes sense that it could be AI, it could be something even more advanced, we don't know. Our point is just, we see and we read the Bible, and we scratch our head, and then we look out into the world and say, oh, we're trending in that very direction, uh, and, and indeed we are. Now, we believe the resurrection and the rapture of the church is an imminent event, it could happen at any moment, nothing needs to happen before it can happen. Jesus is gonna return in the clouds. He'll raise the dead in Christ and then transform the bodies of all living believers on the earth. We will all join him in heaven while the earth endures that final seven year campaign of what we like to call severe evangelism. It's a time of judgment and uh, the wrath of God, but in grace he remembers, uh, in wrath he remembers his grace in that he is still reaching out to lost humanity. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming.